Hi, welcome to my latest video. Well, this video is going to be mostly an excerpt from my last live stream, which was just a few days ago. And it's a particular piece of it where I talk about a problem that I had trying to return one of my computer parts. And unfortunately, it didn't go well, as you will see in terms of my description and my communications with the company involved. Very disappointing because it is a type of product, product line actually, that I've used quite often. And they, there's some piece of that in just about every build that I've done back before this channel even started. I'll show you everything that took place and then I'll show you in the end what the final outcome was, which unfortunately did not work out very well. So stick around and then you'll see how I did the only thing I could do about it. You see this power supply? Corsair CX650 650 watts. It's actually in here. I took it out of a PC. It's got everything in here that you need to have every cable that it came with and the instructions and everything is in this box. Okay, so it's all included in here. Well, basically what I can use this for now is like a doorstop. It does still work, but I would not rely on it. It was in a PC that uh, I've loaned to uh, my daughter who's working on her licensing exams and uh, this thing started buzzing. The buzzing was basically something with the PC being right there next to her in, her, in the room that she's taking the test in. Uh, it was not usable. So what I did is I had a spare EVGA. I swapped it out. It took us a while, me and my younger son, to troubleshoot it, to realize that it was the power supply. We didn't, wasn't quite sure what was causing the buzz. But it was a fan at first, you know, just rubbing onto something, right? But it wasn't. It was the power supply. Not only that, the sound that was coming out sounded digital in nature. You know what I mean by that? It actually seemed to change tunes as if it was getting a square wave coming at it. And different square wave configurations, almost like it was, it was capturing noise from the... Uh, I think it's one of the coils in it that was actually vibrating based upon its draw, how it was being drawn in terms of power. Just a slight amount difference. We didn't have it on the, under any significant load, really. No significant. It wasn't running any sort of load test. It was just, you know, running standard uh, Ethernet. I, I went ahead and um, went into my channel and just played one of my videos and, and it could be heard. So it's definitely a problem. Well, let me show you something. What I'm going to show you here is the email back and forth between me and Corsair. So I submitted an RMA request, as you can see by the screen, and they responded to me like, you know, it's an automated response, right? That they've received it, they've created a ticket for it and everything else. Your response, we tried to respond within two or three days. So this was uh, the 15th on Monday. Like I said, it was an automated response just a few minutes after I submitted the RMA. And then they give you all kinds of links that I didn't click on. And then I got this. This was three days later. This is from a guy named Ryan. He references the uh, ticket number, and he says that he needs a video of it so he can listen to the noise. Well, I did consider building a PC for it because I cannot go and put it back into the PC where it was having the problem. That, that's still on loan to provide testing for my daughter, so I'm not going to take that machine down. But I did think about putting up a uh, PC, probably the one that's sitting here on the, test, the desk right now, and connecting this up to it and seeing if I could uh, record it. But uh, it's very low. As a matter of fact, I could barely hear it. My son heard it better than I did. Um, my hearing is not the best, obviously. Certain frequencies have been long gone in my hearing. Even when I was a young man, they got killed because I worked in a mainframe computer room, which was very noisy, and they didn't give us hearing protection. So there's certain frequencies when I was 22 years old, they got wiped out. I thought about doing that, and then I said, what? I can't do it. It won't be the same. It won't, you know, it probably, it'll be almost impossible for me to, to actually hear what's going on with this. This was a ridiculous request. So, um, and this was, to, by the way, this buzzing noise when the PSU was under 150 watt load, that was all it was under. It was doing no load at all at the time when it was doing that, uh, that, that digital sound noise to it. I even sent them pictures to prove that I owned it, the serial number and the receipt. Those were uh, things that I had to attach to the RMA as they requested. So I did that. It's not like I held back anything like that. The Zen desk. Uh, that always uh, gets me. But then I responded, right? And I, I said, Ryan, I can't do this. I repackaged it. The system is working in an educational unit, so I cannot, I, I, you know, playing it a little differently than, you know, relent to my daughter, obviously. And I don't want to have any more downtime. That's true. The sound's digital in nature and appears to be load related. What are my other options for getting the CRMA to move forward? Well, when, when was this? The same day, the 18th. And then he comes back with a repeat request. I need to understand, and it was just a copy of the exact same request that we had. 
And so I think, yeah, here it is. I get a reminder from Corsair as an automated system that they're waiting for my response. So then here I go and I respond again and I say, I have already responded to your first request. The PSU in question was removed from the PC, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I explained it in a lot more detail. But I said here, if you insist on seeing a video of this problem, then I will build another set of PC components on a test bench, then make a YouTube video describing and showing that problem on my YouTube channel to all my viewers. And I give them my channel link here. It should be it, I'm sorry. It will not be a positive video for Corsair, unlike the videos I have made promoting Corsair products. And then they come back. If you are unwilling to provide the information we need to confirm the issue, we will be unable to offer replacement for that device. Thank you for choosing Corsair. Uh, this was when? November 30th. Look what I got today. This is a copy of my, my request. I think I replied to the second, the second request. So I, I did the, basically the same thing, talking about how it was uh, poor support and such that I'm going to highlight in my video, which is what I'm doing right now, right? And then guess what I get today? from Corsair support. If you have a minute, please give us your feedback on the survey below. Thanks in advance. We will review, etc., etc. Regards Corsair customer support. Based on your experience so far, how likely are you to recommend Corsair to friends and family? How do you think I should answer this? It seems like they close the ticket automatically. So should I answer this at all? If I do, I'm not sure why they have zero and 10 together over here. Maybe it, it, it has the extremely dissatisfied. I wish I could put a negative number on there, but they don't have that option. Anyway, I wanted to point that out. I actually canceled an order that I had made for a Corsair product from um, Newegg that I had going that they had not shipped yet, and it successfully canceled. I got notice of that yesterday. Going forward, when it comes to power supplies, no, no more Corsair. That's just the way it's going to be. Thank you.